Right then, Cloverfield, the universe that is divisive. And it's a universe which I actually loved. However, there's some new information that's just come out now, which is starting to make me dislike it a little bit, because it's J.J. Abrams contradicting himself, and I'll get into it in one second. The first piece of information from J.J. Abrams is from an Empire podcast, and it's more about a reference and an Easter egg that was pulled from the end product movie. Now, this reference, this Easter egg, was actually going to be a nod to 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is a movie which I personally really, really enjoyed just for its claustrophobic and intense atmosphere. John Goodman in that movie is incredible. So, the reference in Easter Egg was actually going to be John Goodman's truck. The specific quote from J.J. Abrams is as follows. During the spacewalk sequence and all this debris is flying around, there was a truck that was going around. It was from 10 Cloverfield Lane, it was Stambler's truck. But it was one of those things that, once again, some people called it out as being too crazy. I loved it because I thought it was just so bonkers, but some people felt it was too distracting. I thought it was amazing. So there you have it, guys. Apparently, during the spacewalk sequence, Stambler's truck was apparently going to be flying around in space, which, that's a fine Easter egg, I don't mind it too much. People are right, it would have been a little bit too distracting and maybe a little bit too forced. However, the next thing starts to fall apart in terms of the Cloverfield universe. J.J. Abrams and the director were both asked about the monster. Now, the monster, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, but you shouldn't really be watching this video. The one at the end of the movie is the Cloverfield monster, or that species anyway, or so we thought, as the same one from the first movie. However, they have now revealed it is exactly the same monster. And I quote... Abrams, it's the same creature, but definitely bigger. Julius Onar, the director, then followed up with, I mean, it was a baby in the first one, so maybe it started eating its Wheaties and grew a little bit. Now, this piece of information I really don't like because not only does it contradict what Abrams has said with regards to the creature being destroyed at the end of the movie, but it also doesn't really start to marry up with what they were trying to do with Cloverfield Paradox and, you know, pulling things through space and time. So with regards to that, I think J.J. Abrams seems to have forgotten what he said in previous interviews. But also now it's just starting to look like the Cloverfield universe is what it is, which is surplus movie scripts that a studio has bought, which are then, then retrofitted into this extended connected universe which is now starting to make it look really ultra lazy and also a bit cheap which is a massive shame because i'm a huge supporter of this universe i thought that the original cloverfield and also the second one were both very good movies cloverfield paradox aside i am still excited for the next film and also the fifth one but now hearing this it does start to make me feel like they actually don't really have any idea how they're connecting anything together and also how these pieces of this further puzzle connect and, and what they are revealing and how it's all coming together for this extended universe. So it's a real shame to hear that. But I also want to kind of put it out to you guys. What do you think of these pieces of information? Would you have liked to have seen Stambler's truck flying through space? Do you think it would have been a good nod or do you think it would have been massively distracting? What do you also think about the fact that apparently the original Cloverfield is the same one that appears at the end of Cloverfield Paradox, but apparently just grew? What do you think about that? Because apparently now it's still alive and was pulled through a dimension or whatnot. Please do let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, I've been Mr. H. Give it a big thumbs up and also uh, share if you enjoyed this video. And I will catch you in the comment section.